morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday morning and today I'm, oh one sec, that's noisy, let's just walk past that building site. As I was saying, I'm shooting today with a new photographer, well it's not a new photographer, I worked with him when I did the shoot for Stylist Magazine and Collect Plus earlier this year. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I've been lot, using lots of different photographers since I've been down here to just try to be creative and find something that works really well for me and everything like that. So I'm looking forward to that and I need some film, we're shooting some film stuff as well as some digital stuff. So I'm on my way out to get some film. When I get back in I've got a few new homeware bits and bobs which I'm going to show you as well. So, oh and also, I didn't vlog last week, I was in Copenhagen for Fashion Week and I didn't really fancy vlogging it because I haven't vlogged it before. Um, but yeah, we're back, back to it now and I'm at home all this week so it's going to be a very homely one which I always quite enjoy. Good morning guys, it is the next day now. Um, yesterday's shooting was so, so good. We got so much done. Um, we, yeah, just really good. The photos, we've got to do some film and I've had them developed already and I absolutely love them all. So it was just a really, really good day. I'm now gonna show you the new homeware bits I've got. Today I've got loads of meetings and it's the first day in London since I've been here where I've got meetings and I feel like I'm making the most of being in London because normally I would be traveling down for two hours on the train from Manchester to do this kind of a thing. So it's an hour's walk to Soho. Um, you guys know how much I've been into walking over the past few months. So I'm gonna walk there because it's meant to be a beautiful day. Um, I won't walk back though. Um, yeah, so I need to set off at half eight because I'm meeting someone at half nine and I'm loving walking around everywhere and like really get my bearings as well. Uh, anyway, I digressed, home my things. So one new thing I got was the cush, this cushion, which is from Habitat, very much like the colours on it. Um, when my table comes, which should be Wednesday and it's going here, I've got loads of metal chairs and I want to put different coloured cushions and throws on them. Look at those hangers there, <laughs> like that. Um, so that might go on a chair rather than on here, it's just here for now. From Anthropology, I bought a coloured ceramic pot. Um, a little bit underwhelmed by it, really. I need to get something big for this one, but I do really like the colour of it, so that's good. Uh, French collection, connection lamp, you've seen. Got a plant. I believe this is called Devil's Ivy. This pot is from Anthropology. I've had that for ages, but I want something that was going to grow down the side of the fireplace. There's a lot of stuff on the fireplace at the moment, and I'm going to declutter it a little bit once other things have arrived obviously all those still need to go on the wall but I'm waiting until the mirror comes which would also come this week um, and then I can kind of see how much I do or don't want on the fireplace because there's quite a lot but I also got some pillar candles which look really lovely lit in the evening from Copenhagen I bought a couple of bits and bobs this really cute little thing for watering succulents not that I have any at the moment and then just this really nice pouring jug decorative thing i also got a mug that kind of matches that uh here sort of got a blue theme going on with my mugs apart from that christmas one which i need to move but that's there i really like that uh i got a wash basket i mean i'll show you it but it's incredibly boring wash basket wow amazing still need to get bedside tables uh what else is new i've put up this which used to be in the kitchen in manchester in here it's currently got beauty bits and bobs on it some towels need to like just organize everything a little bit more but it's good i think that's enough storage for me because i've really like streamlined all my beauty stuff i don't have very much so that should be enough storage really hung this mirror up here which i'm really pleased with how that looks it's now at a good height and yes that is pretty much everything i'm really pleased with how everything's come together i'm desperate for the table to arrive now because i am struggling to work at the moment without having a table it's really really getting my product productivity down so that's coming tomorrow very excited about that um there's something else i was gonna say oh my god right so when we, some of our friends in Trapea in Italy one of them's an artist and he drew I'll show you it when I get it back drew Trapea as it looked in something like 17 something or other he's um just an incredible incredible artist so we all mum got one and I got one to have framed um obviously we, the exact same thing we've been framed I went for a slightly more expensive frame than mum did because she went for a plain black one whereas I've gone for something that's a bit gilded um, not actually got gilded in gold, but a gold effect frame. In the, in Leeds, 
to frame this print it was 100 pounds for mum here it cost me 320 pounds it's crazily more expensive here it's just it's just nuts but i'm picking that up at the weekend which i'm excited for because then i can start really getting some artwork up um and yeah i think everything's going to come together really quickly there's still so much need to get obviously but slowly but surely we're getting there and anyway oh flipping heck it's eight o'clock so i need to finish getting ready set up at half eight for my hour-long walk on the way to my last meeting of the day half four then i meet a friend for a drink later it should be good i am oops just ran to my accident. I am um, absolutely knackered. I keep waking up before 6 a.m. Killer. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, need a drink. Need an Aperol spritz to keep me going now. Morning, guys. Just making a cup of tea. It's like quarter past six at the moment. I cannot sleep in past six. It's really weird. Wake up at like 5:55 every day. Um, that's why I'm a bit overtired. I just cannot go back to sleep afterwards. Um, so anyway, I'm up. Uh, uh, making some tea. I'm going to start my work. I'm getting my hair done at 10am. I'm going to Josh Wood, which is where I went last time. So I'm cotton coloured. They're the best cotton colour I've ever had. And my fringe is no longer a fringe. Like, I haven't had a haircut since I was last there. It's so bad. Um, so I'm going to get that done, which should be good. And then... Um, and certainly the table and chairs are coming. I am so excited. Coming from where I'm doomed. And it's literally just going to change so much because I'm really struggling with being productive on the sofa. So I cannot wait for those to arrive. Um, and then I'm going out for dinner with Catherine tonight. I'm not sure if Lindsay's coming actually. So a very lovely day ahead of me actually. I've had a really good day. And you know what? Since I've moved, every day has been a really good day. I haven't had a single bad day. Touch wood. That was a bit. That was a bit tempting for me, um, but I really haven't. So yeah, um, just cannot wait for these table and chairs to arrive because then I've been holding off doing anything else or getting anything else because I feel like I can't visualise things until I know where the table and chairs are going to go, how that's going to make things look. So I'm really looking forward to that arriving. Also, need a coffee table. So that I don't keep doing this. Oh, kicked over a glass of water yesterday. <laughs> Just leaving the salon, honestly, they're amazing there. I absolutely love it. Fringe, still doing the curtains because I'm into that. Um, but everything is feeling more like a haircut and less like a mop. So I'm now heading back to wait in for table and chairs to do some work lot to get through um, and I'm so excited about the table and chairs it's actually quite alarming that anyone can be this excited about something as boring as that really it's not boring it's very exciting um oh wait, I'm gonna get lost look what I've got a table from Laradute chairs there washing there enough cardboard to do god knows what with right I'm gonna have a montage to sort this out now I've absolutely just pulled my back as well I'm being a right moaner today aren't I Anyway, I have. I love this table though. Ooh. She looks like the moon. She says it's your eye. She sees everything. She knows me.
just thrown on some cushions and throws but I will get stuff proper for it um, at the moment it's at an angle I, I'm desperate I need to get on with some work at the moment so I need to sit down and make use of my table but I can't fully work out what angle I want it to go at until all this is gone now all the cardboard from it because it kind of makes the room feel skew whiff and I'm also finally going to sort out that blot in, in, in the near future imminently good morning guys I think the vlog cut off halfway through me speaking yesterday because my camera died um, I was talking about the table and I'm going to continue talking about the table but I just want to give a restaurant recommendation I went out for dinner last night with Catherine to Flatiron on Golden Road and it was absolutely amazing it was one of the best steaks I've ever had and it was like £25 per head loads of sides I had a drink we both had a drink but I had an alcoholic drink um, it was absolutely amazing so I just wanted to recommend that back to the table momentarily so I've been working here this morning it feels so good to sit to just wake up and go to a desk straight away I really am already loving it so yeah one thing at a time as I said the next thing to arrive is the mirror we've also got a big picture of the framers which will be ready this weekend so those are the next two things I'm literally not letting myself look at another thing until the next things arrive does that make sense like the mirror will come and then I'll step back and go right now what next and do it like that the whole time rather than go wild all at once basically and make decisions I regret um I've got a couple of meetings today with one's with a PR company and another one is with June which should be exciting I haven't worked with them in a while so um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the girl who I know there because she's a real laugh. So we're getting our nails done. Pretty good when you get to have meetings like that. Can we go get our nails done? And then I think I've seen Katie tonight. So I'll bring you along to everything. I'm just going to go and get on the tube now. It's like weird weather. It's rainy but also sunny but also probably really muggy. Don't know what jacket to wear. Doing some grown up stuff and spending money on things I don't care about. A printer. I need one but I don't want one. I want to go and buy vases and bedding and cushions, not a bloody printer. Ugh. Oh, I just successfully got this upstairs. It's almost killed me, these bloody stairs. It is, I'm going to unwrap it now. A print of Tropea that one of our friends drew. Um, I might have the information on the back. He, he was drew it for how it looked in 1782 um, and they went, him and my uncle Luigi went around the whole of the city and worked out exactly where the windows would be and had just, I mean it's as accurate as it can possibly be, beautiful, Whew. heavy, I'm going to unwrap it now see what it's like, amazing it is, the detail on it is just insane, I want to fill the whole place here with that interesting artwork not just, you know, typography and black and white prints, like, you know, the kind of thing that you see a lot. I'd love that, don't get me wrong, but I want kind of stuff that if someone's like, oh my gosh, what's that? Then I can tell them the story behind it. And this is definitely one of those pieces. I also picked up something for Lindsay. She bought this in Copenhagen, it's beautiful. So that's in place, so she's gonna come get that tomorrow, I think. Um, and just while I've got you, quickly wanted to apologise for how this weekly vlog's going. Oh, oh. I just picked up someone else's post, so it's not mine. Um, I'm really conscious that I've been doing that thing the whole week where I go, now I'm going to go do this, and then I don't vlog any of it. And it's weird, vlogs like that, I don't enjoy watching ones like that. So I know it's not enjoyable and it's best when I say I'm going to go do something and take you along. Um, honestly, I, I'm just constantly rushed at the moment. Like now, I'm shooting later on today. It looks like it's gonna flip and piss it down. Um, I need to eat some lunch and try my looks on. Um, and I've got some emails to go through and I'm constantly feeling rushed, which is a good thing. I like being busy. Um, and then the downtime that I'm having is when I'm socialising with friends at the moment. I'm not really having any downtime here. So then when I'm having the time, the downtime, I don't feel like vlogging because I'm trying not to think about work. So then none of my social stuff I'm sharing, it's just me on my own talking to you guys, telling you what I'm doing and not showing you it. So I'm sorry for that. I feel like I'm going to get the balance there eventually. I just need a bit of time to work through it. And if it rains now, I'm going to lose my mind because I have to shoot this afternoon for deadlines on Monday. Anyway, I need to make some dinner, lunch, which is what I'm going to do now, um, and then try on some outfits. 
I've got a lot done today though, so that is good. I'm very excited about that print. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet though, but I'm very excited about it. Something that I very quickly wanted to mention is that, this is not in focus, I've been working with Astley Clark, the jewellery brand. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on, why won't this focus? And there we go. And um, I did a blog post with them. And as part of it, they've given me a discount code for 15% off the whole collection. It, I'll write this all in the description box, but it's STFS, shot from the street, 15, and you get 15% off. And I wanted to mention it because I get lots of questions about the jewelry I've been wearing. So this is a new one. This is one that they gave me to shoot for the blog post. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it's called the Flash Interstellar Ring. Something like that. And just to be clear, this segment here isn't sponsored or anything like that. It was just the blog post that I was, but I thought I'd mention it. Not that you can see that anyway, because it won't flip in focus. Um, but I also wear this one a lot in my videos. And I've also got one that's got, um, it's like a moss green one. It's so cool. This is absolutely driving me insane, this focus. One sec. Ah, there we go. Uh, this one as well I wear a lot. It's so, so, so cool. So I thought I'd mention it because you guys do ask in the comments sometimes what jewellery I'm wearing and the rings, all of the rings I've been wearing recently, apart from that diamond one which I've had for years, have been from Ashley Clark. So I'll put the information in the description box so you can go and have a nosy. That's the buzzer. Got a guest here, a little guest on the sofa, Catherine. <laughs> and my mirror came today, which is very exciting. It's not, it's not, I need to get it, put it up. It's not hung up yet, it's so heavy. Oh, yeah. Go up, like, what, six inches? yeah, there's a nail right behind it already, a proper like screwed in plug and all that jazz. So I just need to be able to lift it. I've done all of that, I just can't lift it high enough myself because it's so heavy. Give us a call, we'll come around and do it together. Get Hayden to come Yeah, she's got the height you need. <laughs> but I do like it, but it's not perfect. I've hoped it look, would look older than that. Got it off of eBay. Wow. Give it a moment and it'll be older. Yeah, for now it's fine. Do some flicks and things. Yeah, that's what my mum said, get some sandpaper on it. <laughs> yeah. Do you like my plant on the side? Which I'm going to kill, the ivy one. It, um, it looks like the type of thing you'd wake up in the morning and cut off your entire face. <laughs> it's smothering you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does a little bit. Oh, yeah. And those lilies. Oh, they're gorgeous. And the sunflower. Yeah, they look nice. They're all going to die in the next day. And then the rubbish in the corner. I mean, really a great way to end that. Yeah. That night. yeah. <laughs> morning, guys, from me looking very good. I am stressed out. It's Sunday morning. I'm stressed about this vlog because I know I've done such a shit job this week. I'm currently editing and testing basics today. I always put my videos up at 8 a.m., as you probably know. I literally forgot to do it yesterday. I've never, ever, 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 ever for forgotten that. There's been times where I'm like, I might not get it up at 8, it might be half 8 because I'm going to have to finish the edit in the morning. I've never forgotten. I woke up this morning like, oh, what video have I got going today? Oh, none, if you don't edit it and put it up. It's not going to just magically be there. So I'm just editing that now. I'm so annoyed at myself. How does someone forget that? That's that my work and I just forgot it. <laughs> so I'm editing that now. Just like, oh, content is not I'm really inspired and motivated at the moment. And I'm just thinking like, why am I messing up on stuff like this for no reason? Anyway, um, it's, quite, it's 20 past nine, so I'm just doing that as quickly as possible, and then I'm gonna get ready. Linz and I are going to a class this morning at Frame together. Bar, 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 is it bar? Because it's spelled B-A-R-R-E. Barry, Barry, bar, I think it's bar. Linz was like, oh, it's great for flexibility. I'm like, Linz, I can't touch my toes. Why the heck are you taking me here? Anyway, we're gonna go to that, which should be good. Um, and then weekday, have opened up a shop on Regent Street and we have some vouchers, we've sent some vouchers, so we're gonna go both go there together and probably pick out the exact same clothes. <laughs> no, we won't really. We do make an effort not to do that, you know. Um, so we're gonna go pick up some clothes. And then later on, I'm seeing Connor, and I've just texted Katie to see if she wants to come as well. And I'm gonna make a really conscious effort to actually vlog all of this stuff that I've told you about. And I really hope you can all forgive me for this week, me just telling you what I'm doing and then not showing you, um, and that I can improve on that next week a little bit, so I am sorry. That's this week, I need to go on with editing the video I forgot about. Just in a weekday, shopping for denim. Oh God, it's quite stressful so far. No, I need a 26, I'll not fit in a 25. Right, waist, leg 26 has blown my chair. Good evening guys. Just about to get into bed, it's about half 10, I've been working. Connor and I went for a roast. 
Um, and then I've just been sat working, so I'm trying to be on top of stuff and organise the week and it's going okay. I feel like I've got everything organised in my head, which is good. So I'm going to have an early start tomorrow. I think maybe a half sixer. Um, so I'm going to go to bed now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. I'd be surprised if you have, truth be told. <laughs> I know I have not done a good job of it this week. Really hope I can do better at it next week. I'm sorry. Um, I know you will all bear with me. It's like trying to just find a balance of how to create all this content. The only way to do it is with a bit of trial and error, I think. So um, I do hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget the thing about what I said about the Ashley Clark jewellery with the discount code. I'll pop that in the description box for 15% off. Because uh, I know a lot of you asked about those rings that I wear, as I, as I said. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.